Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High Christ bless you. Hey, it's that time again. We need you to subscribe to the IUIC Phoenix YouTube page, all right? So make sure you go ahead and subscribe right now. We need your help. Shalom. How did our people come to this side of the earth as slaves? We came from, we were taken. From where? Africa. Uh huh. And brought on? Motherland. And brought on what? And brought on here to work and do whatever. How did, how did we come here? Ship. On ships. Yeah. Is that true, brother? Um, we came by, yeah, with Christopher Columbus. We came by ships. How did Columbus come over here? Yes. He came with ships. And when he got here, guess what he did? He took some of your people and took them over to the other side of the earth. Right. As slaves. Yeah. On ships. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So the history is according to what the Bible says. Ain't nothing changed. You understand what I'm saying? You got a question? Let's finish this. And you ask your question, okay? All right, read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Right. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships so god said you israelites you are going to go into egypt egypt what happened in egypt okay, that five and six the eternal promise what happened in egypt my the sister what happened to the israelites in egypt they were what say it a little louder sister they were slaves you know that brother in egypt we were slaves so now God said, he's going to bring you back into Egypt. What is he talking about? The same condition that you were in Egypt, you would be back in that same condition again. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5 and verse 6. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt uh -huh. from the house of bondage. So God said he brought us out of the land of Egypt, which is the house of what? Bondage. Bondage. What is bondage? It's slavery. Not just a form. It is slavery. If somebody have you in bondage, guess what? You're bound. You ain't moving nowhere. You're a slave. You understand what I'm saying? So watch this. Right. Go back to Deuteronomy chapter 6, uh, 28, 68. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships so watch look at this right here look at this what is what 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 is being depicted right here what is shown is this our history right here it is it's showing our history as a people we came on these ships as slaves back to sardines in in in, in human conditions absolutely my sister you understand what i'm saying so now if the bible said to israel if moses said to the israelites right because who was Moses talking to? Do you remember? The Israelites. And Moses said to the Israelites, Hey, I'm going to bring you back into slavery on ships. And when you examine your history, your forbearance came to America on ships. Who would, I, who would you be? You would be the same people. So you are an Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? My brother, where, where are you from? Where, where, are you, where are your parents from? What's your background? What's your, um, your nationality? What do you call yourself today? Hispanic. Hispanic. So guess what? The, you Hispanic man, is there a difference between you and the black man's history? No. The same thing happened to us happened to you also when hernan cortez came over to in, in mexico what did he do to your people affected us all. he did what affected us all. he affected you all yes he enslaved you all he, he the, he's called the conquistador what does a con what is a conquistador it's a conqueror does that mean your people were conquered and subjected into slavery just as we were you understand why because we are all Israelites from the same nation. You blacks, you Hispanics, and you Native Americans. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. Yes, hey, my sister, my sister. Hey, I gotta go. You gotta go, bro? 
All right, make sure you read that flyer, flyer right there, okay? Yeah, and learn your true history. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Watch this. So you said your ancestress, because you're not sure what your dad is, right? Now, you said American black and American Indian. You see, he's right, you see right there? That's the American Indian. So you're either going to be from the tribe of Judah, an Israelite, or from the tribe of Gad, an Israelite. So either way, my sister, you're still an Israelite. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you're still in this bloodline. You're still in the, the, the one of the children of the Most High God. Because the Most High God has children on the earth. But guess what? The devil also has kids on the earth. Did you know that? No. Go ahead. All right. All persons, my sister. Thank you. Well, you know what, my sister? Here's what is more important for our people. Give me that Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Listen to this. Because, you know, it's good for you to know that you're Israel. But guess what? That alone is not going to make you the child of God that you should be. You understand? There's more that is required of our people. Because we are given a, a responsibility as the Israelites on the earth today. All right, you got it? Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 10 and verse 12. Uh -huh. Bring it out. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? So as an Israelite, things are required. That means it's a necessity. You need to make sure you're applying these things. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. So the first thing we must do as Israelite is to fear God. Because God is our God. He's only the God for Israel. You understand what I'm saying? Read. To walk in all his ways. So we must walk in all the ways of God. What are those ways that we need to walk in? It's going to explain it right here. Read. And to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul to keep the commandments of the Lord. So everything is summed up in us keeping the commandments of the Lord our God. We as Israelites, that is our job. That is our duty, Ecclesiastes. That is our duty as a people, what we must do. We have to apply the laws of God. Hey, bro, come on over, man. We have to apply the laws of God. You understand what I'm saying, my sister? All right, watch this. Read. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 13. Uh -huh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. This is the meaning of your whole, your life, sis. This is the conclusion of the matter. Read. Fear God uh -huh. and keep his commandments. So we have to fear God and keep his commandments. You understand what I'm saying? So the question is, do you know those commandments that you need to keep? Most of them you believe, but there are some that are missing. Because you know what? We have been misguided, miseducated, and we have not been taught the truth. You understand what I'm saying? No. Give me um, uh, uh, Acts about repentance, 5 and 29. You pray to God every day, bro? Come on over here, bro. Let's talk about that in a second, okay? What, you got a minute, man. Let's, let's sit tight and we'll hold on. You got that? Acts 5 and 29? This is the book of Acts, chapter 5, in verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. So we, as the Israelites, our job is to obey God. Give me a repentance. We are, we are supposed to obey God rather than men. You know that, my brother. So are you obeying the Most High God in all things? In all things? Okay, okay. We're going to, we're going to try the spirit. You understand what I'm saying? Because we want to make sure that you, 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 you walk in what you say you're doing. You understand? All right. No, no. In Acts 3, Acts, Acts yeah, 319. Pardon me, sir? You don't believe in angels. If we don't believe in angels? We have the Bible right here. Does the Bible talk about angels? So what are you talking about? Of course we believe in angels, brother. Read. This is the book of Acts. Chapter 3 and verse 19. Uh -huh. Hold on, my sis. Hold on. Repent ye therefore. So the Bible says, Israelites, Israelites, men, women, we must repent. What does it mean to repent, brother? Yeah. Repent means you got to turn back from what you are doing to what God said we are supposed to do. There is a way that we need to walk. And the way that we are supposed to walk is according to the commandments of God. So in your repentance, 
you are returning back to the laws of God. Because we have not kept the commandments of God in centuries. You understand what I'm saying, my sister, my brother? So watch it. Repent. Repent ye therefore, uh -huh. and be converted. And be converted. That means you got to be changed. Your mindset has to be according to God's mindset. Because we have been taught the ways of men. We have been taught the ways of our oppressors. We have been taught the ways of our enemies. But we must come back to the ways of God. You understand what I'm saying, bro? Right. That your sins may be blotted out. Because we have sins as a people. And if we want to get rid of those sins, if we want to be forgiven for those sins, we must repent. You understand what I'm saying? So now, the question is, do we understand what laws we need to keep? Because you said you pray all the time, right? And you believe in God. Come on up, my brother. That's what we're going over right now. My sister, I'm going to get one law. Because that's the important thing. I know. We Just listen. Uh, give me um, uh, uh, Corinthians. Because do you smoke, sister? All right. So I'm going to help you right here. Because guess what? Sometimes we don't move until we get that external push. You understand? Read. This is the book of 1 okay. Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Okay. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. So now you as Israelites, my brother, my sister, we are the temple of the Most High God. You understand? Now let me ask you a question. If you are the temple of God, how would you deal with the temple of God? How would you um, order that temple? You want to do. You want to make sure you're keeping that temple clean. You want to make sure that it's pristine. You understand? Because when we go back and read in the Old Testament about the temple of God, that thing was magnificent. Right. So guess what? Today you have to you have to exude that same qualities that was written in the Bible. You have to make yourself magnificent. Right. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. So the Spirit of the Most High dwells in us when we repent as Israelites and start to do what? Keep his commandments. You understand? Right. If any man defile the temple of God, but God said if you Israelites continue to defile his temple, meaning it, the body that you all have, right? Him shall God destroy. You will be destroyed. You understand that, sister? So do you want to be destroyed as a person today? So guess what? You gotta kick that habit. You gotta. All praises. So, like I said to you, we just giving you some extra push to get to it. You understand what I'm saying? Because guess what? Your life is in danger if you don't understand. You, you, the Bible says you will be destroyed. So God has been merciful and given you time. So guess what? Don't ignore that. Make sure you get into it. You understand? Because it's against the commandments to defile your temple. Give me that in Titus. It's against the commandment to defile your temple. Because we have to make sure that we are keeping ourselves according to what the laws of God says. You understand what I'm saying? It says we have to be sober in all things. We're going to show you in a second. Hold on. You just, let me finish the thing with the sister real quick. Right. This is the book of Titus, uh -huh. chapter 2 and verse 6. Young men, young men, likewise exhort to be sober-minded. So young men, young women, God said we must be sober-minded. 1 Kings 8 and 44. Okay, 1 Kings 8 44. Okay, my sister. So we have to be sober minded because when we're when we're inhaling chemicals that is not supposed to be in our system, we are not sober. We don't think straight, we don't follow the laws of God. You just you understand what I'm saying? Exactly. Great. This is the book of 1 Kings, chapter 2, and verse 46. If they sin against thee, uh -huh. for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them. Because guess what, my brother? We talking, you said repentance. God, in our repentance, we got to come back to doing what God said we were supposed to do in the first place. You understand? So God said if you sin against him, he's going to be what? And thou be angry with them. God is angry with our people today. Why? Because our people is all in all kinds of sins. You understand what I'm saying? Right. 
and deliver them to the enemy so that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy, far or near. Because we would have been brought to America, like I said, on them slave ships. We were brought here as slaves and we were brought from a land that was far away and now we are here in America, right? Yet, if they shall bethink themselves, so the Bible says we must bethink ourselves. Meaning what? Remember, remember your forefathers. Remember who you are. Remember your heritage. Remember your 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 lineage. Remember what the things that God said we need to do. Right? In the land, whether they were carried captives and repent. Because we have to repent, my brother. You see what I'm saying? Read. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive. And we got to pray unto the Lord and ask for forgiveness for the things that we have done. You understand what I'm saying, brother? According to the Bible. What was that at? <laughs> that was that uh, a lot of people don't even realize they I've called her, she hasn't responded. I've called her more than a few times. But the Zulu nation, I'm like, what the hell is this? I know nobody know what I'm talking about. You'll leave me on the island by myself. I don't know what the hell Bishop's talking about. <laughs> That's what y'all do. <laughs> then after class, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just don't want to be caught out there. The hell is this? Get on my damn nerves. So read that again, 30. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Is you. And finally, my brother, be strong.